Now we'll look at two examples of determining if alternating infinite geometric series converge or diverge. When we have an infinite geometric series, as long as the absolute value of r, where r is the common ratio, is less than one, the series converges and converges to a, the first term, divided by the quantity one minus r, and if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to one, the series diverges. So looking at our formula here, we probably recognize that r is equal to negative one-third, but let's also take the time to generate the first few terms of our series. Notice and the index starts at zero, so the first term would be negative one-third raised to the zero plus, then we'd have negative one-third to the first plus negative one-third to the second plus negative one-third to the third and so on. Let's go ahead and simplify each term. Notice our first term would be negative one to the zero, which is one, and then we'd have plus negative one-third to the first is negative one-third, so instead of writing plus negative one-third, let's just write minus one-third. Then we have plus negative one-third squared, that's gonna be positive one-ninth, so plus one-ninth. And then we have plus negative one-third to the third, which would be negative one-twenty-seventh. So instead of writing plus negative one-twenty-seventh, let's write minus one-twenty-seventh, and then plus, et cetera. So notice how Looking at the terms in our series, the first term a is equal to one, and as we already mentioned, r, the common ratio, would be equal to negative one-third. And since the absolute value of negative one-third is one-third, which is less than one, the series will converge. So we can say the geometric series with the absolute value of r in this case would be the absolute value of negative one-third, which equals one-third, which is less than one, converges. And therefore the series will converge, or the sum of the series will be equal to a divided by the quantity one minus r. So our infinite sum is equal to a, which is one, divided by one minus r, where r is negative one-third. This would give us one divided by four-thirds. Dividing by four-thirds is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of three-fourths. So this equals one times three-fourths, which equals three-fourths. So the sum, or the series, converges to three-fourths. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we have the summation of negative nine-sevenths raised to the nth power from n equals zero to infinity. And once again, we probably recognize that r is equal to negative nine-sevenths, and therefore the absolute value of r is going to be greater than or equal to one, and therefore the series will diverge. But let's go ahead and generate the first few terms of our series. So we'd have negative nine-sevenths to the zero plus negative nine-sevenths to the first, plus negative nine-sevenths to the second, plus negative nine-sevenths to the third, and so on. So we'd have one, and then plus negative nine-sevenths, or minus nine-sevenths, and then we'd have plus eighty-one forty-ninths, and then we'd have plus negative seven hundred twenty-nine divided by 343, or minus 729 divided by 343, plus so on. So notice here, the first term is one, and r, a common ratio, is negative nine-sevenths. And therefore, the geometric series with absolute value of r equals the absolute value of negative nine-sevenths, which equals nine-sevenths, which is greater than or equal to one, diverges. And therefore we cannot find the sum. I hope you found this helpful.